Test Chamber returns with a look at Quantum Conundrum. I'm your host, Andrew Reiner. Today, I'm joined by Ben Reeves. That's me. Ben reviewed the game for us, and uh, we just saw Jim Riley looking in the window here, and we pulled him in. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. I, you know, I don't he feels have, I don't a little phone. awkward. He doesn't have his phone. That's what he keeps saying. And I've never even seen this game. He hasn't eaten his hamburger today. I'm not... Uh, uh, you're yeah, like a kid looking at a pet store. Yeah. All right, Ben, here we let's go. kick this off. This is uh, the new game from Airtight Games and designer Kim Swift. She worked on the first Portal as a lead designer at Valve. Uh, Square Enix is publishing this. And uh, Ben, would you say it's kind of a spiritual successor to Portal? Yeah, definitely in ways. I think, uh, you know, Portal's known for its humor and its puzzles, and this this has some good puzzles. I would say it lacks... Maybe the humor is not quite as funny, but it's uh, it tries. Now, Ben, you reviewed the game. What, what score did you end up giving it? I gave it an 8.5. Okay. Uh, it's good. Go to GameInformer.com and read all about it. So the game came out on June 21st on Steam and uh, is set to release, this is kind of weird, on PlayStation 3 on July 10th. And then July 11th on Xbox 360. So 360 owners, you are uh, the ass end out here. You get it last. Oh, I didn't know we're playing this on PC, eh? That's what we're doing right we're, now? It's yep. on PC yeah. right now. It's, you're, um, you're holding the next uh, Xbox controller. I was like, well, oh, yeah, it's the future. The we plug these things into the PCs now. So what's the story ultimately here? What's going on? The setup here is they're explaining is you're this kid and you have this crazy uncle and your mom keeps dropping you off at his house and he kind of doesn't like you. But he has these crazy inventions. And so the latest invention is this like dimension warping um, oh. sort of thing and he's gotten stuck in another dimension so now that you showed up at his house you gotta like help him out and help him save himself so this old scientist is lost and you're just this little boy yeah that's gonna help him you're like 12 years old i will join you as soon as i can so you just showed up and apparently your mom just drops you off and leaves because she's nowhere to be seen uh, she sounds like quite the mother she's super loving i believe i told you to bring your luggage with you all right, so what are so we doing? So that's him. That's your okay. uncle. Okay, so that's the goal, is find that guy. Find this guy. He's played by John Delant. I don't know how to say his name. John Del- The guy who played Q in uh, Star Trek. Okay. Same guy. Good Look to see he's getting jump. more work. Yeah. Are the level structures basically set up the same way where you have I need to get an that. end goal each level, like in Portal? Ben? <laughs> yes. Sorry, I was thinking. <laughs> I need to jump and get that. You're puzzle right now. Wait. You need to move what I need is probably pick something up here. Too many things to pick up. So there's, it's kind of like, uh, kind of like that in terms of you have almost test chambers that you go through, but they don't call them test chambers, obviously. Copyright Game Informer? I don't know why I can't get that. You probably should copyright that. All right, so Ben apparently reviewed so this game. So we're already stuck. Has no idea what he's I, doing. I'll get the suitcase that was in the front. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, you should review this game. How entirely frustrating. So Ben, is your entire review this. just this room? <laughs> yeah. Like the this chandelier is the looks end of really the game. nice. This is There's how you play the game. stickers on the luggage. Uh, eventually credits started rolling, and I was just like, hmm, I guess that was it. Good oh, game. Good. That should be a safe I actually don't remember this door. at all. Somehow I blew past this. Well, we review everything drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty accurate. Oh, no, no, so how old are you? Eight, eight years old? No, no. You're like 12. Oh, 12. Is it? So here, check this out. A cork. Whoa. Well, you couldn't read that. So this is one of the dimensions. This is another one. So wait, what's happening here? Are you changing? Are you doing this? <laughs> nope. Okay. This is all part of the story. This game has a, a narrative. I see. It's just like Bioshock. Things happen. It does kind of have that Bioshock look in its architecture. Mm. Oh gosh, it's moody. So there's no humor here, huh? Seems like it's well, right they, for it. They, I'm not saying that there's no humor. They're definitely trying to be funny, and it's quirky and silly. I just don't think the humor lands as well as they want. Gotcha. So let's look at one of the. So Atlas shifted. Said Atlas shrugged. These are kind of their jokes. Silly jokes. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look how good the physics are. What in the world are you doing here? Were you supposed to be? Things fall when you pick them up, just is like the, gravity, well, just like real judging. gravity. Is the the main character silent as well? Yeah, you yeah. don't talk at all. You're 12. You don't know how to speak yet. Yeah, I couldn't speak until about two years ago. So I now possess a rather large. That does not surprise me. So I gotta wait until he's done talking and his door opens. Well, this is a fun part of the game. Here we go. 
a favor and head to the front hall. Well, just make a joke. Does he talk to you throughout the whole game? Yeah, he's just like Gladys. He's this disembodied voice. He's stuck in another dimension, so you're trying to save him. But he still doesn't like you for some reason. Ooh. Oh, a little chug. A little chug, chug. Here we're we playing are. on Jason's laptop. If you head over to and, my office, uh, over I put a bunch of viruses on it. This is a joke earlier today. Here we yeah, are. I guess this is sort of the main hub world. Ben, is this how good the game looks? I mean, in overall, is there, can you make it look better with PC? I mean, what's the... We're on PC. We're I mean, as far PC. as, like, resolution... Don't be confused by the Xbox controller, man. No, no, no. I mean, like, in terms of, like, resolution and, and, and graphics, is this... Is this um, it? I don't know. Max I think this settings? is pretty turned up. Okay. I mean, it's not bad. It's no, it's cartoony, sort of art style. But here's the glove, the interdimensional whatever device. Now that we have that, we have the power of dimensions in our hand. I was going to say, that's a power glove. Good to see that getting some use. Finally, there's a use for it. There's a reason to put it on. I never owned one of those. I think I want to go in here. I wanted to like it so much. It took forever to set it up, and there were so many buttons on it, and nobody knew how to use it. What was the name of that movie that it was in? The Wizard? That made the Wizard, yeah, yeah. It looks so movie. cool. You're like, oh... I can't wait to get one of those and yep. play games better. And no, no, nope, nope. it did not work. Nothing about that helps you play games. There's something I must tell you. My latest invention. Yeah, you think Nintendo would have learned a lesson with the the sensor bars on TVs? Since the last. Now, one of the I can't stand them. I don't know how many times my Wii one has fallen off my TV. Yeah, that's really annoying. So there's his old dimensions. He had a, invented a jetpack. And then he invented this thing, some kind of ice beam. Mr. Freeze? Yeah, he's, he is Mr. Freeze. You are Mr. Freeze's nephew. I like the look of it. It's very cartoon. Yeah, it's fun. There's books. Belt books? What is that about? Yeah, why would you put a belt around yeah, them? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. It's not a belt. It's like bondage books. control over the ability to switch dimensions yet. I got the joke. Kind of. Bondage books? Look at that. This door is using one of my inventions. Ah. Repetitive, periodic, articulate. Homer Simpson's bird. bird. Yep. Or a drink. Come here, bird. Oh, you can. Exactly. There you ah, go. puzzle. Yeah, this is the first puzzle, if you can call it that. Oh, look at that. Well, There's a uh, Mr. Quadrangle's cat. In terms of it's a very sophisticated cat. Wears a top hat and a monocle. Yeah. But he made clones. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so this is like a clone of a clone. It's like multiplicity. Number four. I, are they saw, all I saw it in the theaters, by the way. Are those, those cats in different dimensions? It's a good movie. I, you never actually run into the cats in person. It was disappointing. It'll this probably be the cat DLC. <laughs> Can't wait. So to have it triggered remotely with a drinking bird. Right. Instead of operating a door, the bird will trigger a dimensional shift. Ooh. First dimension shift. All right. There's an IDS battery in the machine that will power the dimensions, which in this case is... So like Portal, they kind of walk you through it really slow and kind of teach you the basics. All right. The fluffy dimension. So the fluffy dimension. So I makes everything light, now. so I can pick yeah. up the safe because it's light now. And then as soon as it changes back, it's too heavy and I drop it. And you can switch back on the fly. Well, I, right eventually now, it, it can. Right now, it's just the drinking oh, okay. birds controlling everything. So, wait, pick it up, put it on this weighted Although device, like and then as soon as it's back to normal, it there you go. A portable kinetic mass Do all the dimensions come into play in specific puzzles? Yes. Were there any that really stumped you, or do they do a pretty good job of just kind of walking There were one or two that I had to think about for a while. Um, I like to think I'm pretty good at puzzles, so nothing like, something to know. you know kept me going for like I had to put it down for a night or anything I, nothing like that first puzzle you ran into yeah that first puzzle is, is super tough <laughs> um, yeah the, uh, the but once you get past puzzle. that you're kind of good to go your mass shape speed and trying personality remain the same so these batteries you need to collect these batteries and then that's how you power up the dimension converter whatever you call it okay so there's four dimensions. Yep. First one's fluffy, the second one's heavy. And then there's two others. Yeah, let's go see what this says. Great. What does it say? <laughs> Exponiations? What? Exponiations. There you go. That's a word. Now, Ben, you just wrote a book. I did. Kill Screen. It's a real book. 
And there's a kill screen magazine. Is yeah, there the same is. Thing? It's a different thing. Okay. I didn't know the magazine existed before I wrote the <laughs> novel. Are you sure about that? No, I lie. <laughs> the lies about the book is about lies. So they got, we got these controls on the screen here. What do these do? The bumpers and the triggers? Oh, so, well, yeah. So the RT and RB and all that you're saying? Yeah. What is? What's Those are the dimensions. Ah, uh, okay. okay. And then the, what are the standard controls? Like A button jumps? A jumps. Uh, B, uh, I think, throws things. X, uh, grabs things. And I don't, I don't remember using the Y a whole lot. Why is the, the uh, high five button? Oh. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. That's dangerous. That later. And does it all take place kind of in this mansion? Yeah, this guy is a giant mansion. It's ridiculous. All right, so here. So you're doing this safe. now. Safe. Yeah. Now I control the dimensions by hitting the right trigger. And I can do it whenever I want. Huh. And I think I just need to weigh down. Oops. Weigh this down. So these early puzzles... Maybe pretty not easy. the best showcase of the game because they're pretty much just like, here's how you switch through dimensions and here's how everything works. But the later puzzles get kind of interesting. So These if I switch over, put this on here, turn the safe off. Dope, yttrium, aluminum, garnet, see what happened there? She was That's Dolly. She just creates random junk and throws it all over the place. Huh. And how long would you say this game has been? Six hours. Oh, did you see that? There's a little cat-like creature over there? No. Yeah, it disappeared. It's called Ike. It's a real thing. Okay. Can that kill you? Yeah, is that to ask, can you die in this game? I don't know. Let's try. Let's see if I can get hit in the head. Oh, you can die. Like, if you fall or get hit by a laser or something. Oh. I don't Let's know see if, if you, you can, can get crushed by that. Yeah, yeah. you kill yourself. See if she can throw something at my head. Come on! Yeah. Oh, that would totally kill me. Uh, let's see if I can just hit by this. Do you ever like fake it out and make it oh turn fluffy when you, but before it hits you? Of course. Well. Well, what's the point? Because I'm impervious to save. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Okay. That's weird. So the kid can take I a died. save. To so the this face. may be. The, I can't think of many games where a 12-year-old child has died in a game before. Oh, this is messed up. I mean, no. Peta should be offended. That's how messed up it is. Someone trying to figure out how many kids die in games. I think this might be the only one. Uh, you think so? I mean, uh, the Call of Duty, like, Modern Warfare 3 had, like, the kid oh, yeah. dying. Heavy rain. Yep. Yeah, heavy rain. Heavy rain, you could die as a kid? Yeah, he took a car to the face. Yeah. And the one kid drowns, or kind of oh, oh, oh. die, but oh. there you go, see? Completely nice. fine. So the only Can you throw thing? that? Yeah. So does the ESRB know that 12-year-old kids die in this game? Um, yeah, that's a good question. I'll I guess Ben wants to alert PETA for some reason. I'll email, I'll email the ESRB and maybe see if we can get this PETA game. PETA doesn't care about kids. They just care about animals. If it was a like 12-year-old bear, they would care. Is that ultra bear or is that still cub? Ultra bear? Is it, is it mean, do bears have like dog ears or is like is a 12-year-old bear an old bear? Yeah. Or is it still considered a cub? I think it's an ultra bear. <laughs> Is it an ultra bear? The world's best superhero. How long do bears live for? That's a good question. I don't know. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. I don't know where you're going. What kind of bear is best is what I'm trying to ask. Still have no idea what you're talking about right now. <laughs> okay, so now I need you to get, get over that, that door. Go down there. There's a door down there. You opened up. Yeah. Ah, I need just to... Just letting you know that you reset the glass. Oh, here we go. Thank you. Huh? Yeah, yeah, you need to reset the glass. Get it? Nope. And then you come back down here. You don't want to destroy that glass, is what was happening. And if you're in heavy dimension, it mm. gets destroyed. But you need the glass there to walk. And there's no co-op in this game? Nope, unfortunately. That would be nice. What else do you want in this game that doesn't exist? <laughs> <laughs> Any guns? <laughs> that should be fun. Lamps? We got lamps. So pretty much any object you see you can interact with? Books, lamps? Uh, yeah, there's not a ton of objects. There's like a lot of books. You see, you'll see these chairs a lot. You'll see these tables a lot. Um, yeah, it's kind of like a lot of the same art assets. And it seems like 
whenever you need weight, it's that safe. Do they ever change up different objects? Like, can you put more than one thing on that? Uh, well, let's try. Let's put. Oh, a, okay. Here we go. Put that on there. Oh, yeah. there we go. There we go. So you don't always need a safe. What was that? What the heck was that? Oh, there he is. There's Ike. Dude, you said he wasn't in the game. Can you zoom in on him? He's an ultra bear, is what he is. Oh, he just popped out. Kim Swift uh, designed him to be sort of like cute and cuddly from a distance, but the closer you get, the uh, scarier and creepier he is. And I would say that that holds true. All right, so. Ah. Puzzle there. Nice. Do it again. Woo! Wasn't that fun? I wouldn't mind living in the fluffy Isn't dimension. Isn't this fun, kids? What's the other two dimensions? There's the heavy dimension. There's a heavy dimension, which is like gonna blow your mind. It's so heavy. There's a I don't know the names of the the other one. Like slows down time. Um, Mansfield Pulsar, like Mansfield Park. Get it? Get it? I don't. The other one of the other dimensions <laughs> slows down time, and the another one uh, reverses Stop gravity. For a minute. So everything hmm. take a look at the painting. lands on the ceiling. The machine I referred to as Dolly started out as a simple metal forge. Oh. That had been in Tells you about the history of the uh, mansion, the history of the family. The original quadrangle suit of armor was actually constructed in this very forge. How is it in terms of variety? Do they do a pretty good job My of just changing stuff up as it goes along? So that For puzzles and whatnot? Yep. Yeah, yeah, they do a great job. Um, I don't feel like I was doing the same puzzle over and over again. Like some puzzle games kind of like... Oh, isn't this fun? Now we'll just add a third, you know, switch you got to hit or something like that. Everything felt different. I didn't feel like I was doing the same thing over and over again. Unlike, like, this conversation I'm having. <laughs> well, what are you going to do here? Let's find out. Here's, that, here's the Ultra Bear again. There he goes. Please say that you don't need me to. The Ultra Bear. Look at him fly. He's so fun. So things, as you can see, it's not flying far enough. Oh, but you're going to have to hit this quick. If I'm fluffy, it flies. Ah, nice. Boom. That's pretty cool. So I need to get three of them. So now you could just let them fly Yeah, because the glass is gone. All right. Let's get to this. My, my initial concern was this is going to be like too much like Portal, but it seems like it's no? not... Here's these little collectible oh, things that you can get. To. Like, so if you're super hardcore, there's extra things scattered throughout. Noise generator. There's got to be more around here somewhere. All right. All right. Oh, I don't need that. Never mind. Standard so, I don't know. I had fun with this so game. It's like six hours long, um, but fun. And it's only, I don't know, how much is it? It's like 20 bucks or something. $15? 15 15 Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's super cheap. Um, Is there a lot of replayability with this? Date. Or do you feel like once you've beaten it, you're done? You can go back and collect those things, uh, the certain collectibles, but I, I didn't feel super compelled to play it again. But you gave it an 8.5. Obviously, that's a very good score for this game. Would you say it's a, a must-play for, for puzzle fanatics or portal fans or just anyone in general? For anybody in the world. <laughs> yeah, I would say Portal fans will probably dig it. Um, I would say if, if you didn't like Portal, give this one a shot in. It's a little bit different. Like, the mechanics are different. It's not about portals. The one thing is Portal had going for it. Placing portals is actually just innately fun, right? Like, you can place a portal on a wall. You could screw around on a wall for, like, five minutes and have fun and not solve the puzzle. I would say switching dimensions isn't as um, innately entertaining, but... The way they work them into the puzzles is pretty good. Dude, snuggle with the ultra bear. Yeah, where's the ultra bear? Where does he go? Where'd he go? Ike! Does he just disappear when you get the close jerk. to him? Jerk. Oh my gosh. What happened? He, yeah, he doesn't stick around for long. All right, let's solve this puzzle and then call it a day. Oh, yes. I don't know if this is accurate. You're doing it. Yeah, this is I it. I think the puzzle's actually solved at this point. I just got to get to the other side. Here we are. So All right. Well, I think that's stairs. a pretty good look at the beginning of the game. Uh, we'll save the other dimensions as a surprise for you, the players. Yeah. Uh, now you know how to get through that first room. Yeah, that was tough. <laughs> Suitcase. Pro tip. 
Well, thanks, Jim. Thanks, Ben, well, for, thanks, for, no joining for having me on. I'm, I'm glad I walked by. Yeah. And uh, we'll see everybody on the next test chamber. You should look into more windows. You never know what you'll find. <laughs> Actually, that's creepy. <laughs> Just look into windows, man. Just look into every window you see.